Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today, and it is September 25th. Starting us off, the CDC released a ton of data today, especially when it comes to sexually transmitted diseases, the three most common ones being syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia. Those three together ended up being about a 9% drop compared to 2023. But when we looked at chlamydia alone, there's about a 700% increase still as compared to about 10 years ago. Before we get into the rest of it, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest medical information and get links to everything that we're talking about, you can find in the link in my bio to my Substack, or you can also find ways to help support the page. Let's get back to it. Moving on, we have a new neurology study that is looking at individuals who are self-describing themselves as cognitively disabled. They say the rates from 2013, which were at around 5.5%, have now jumped all the way up to about 7.5% in just 10 years. The most concerning part were individuals between the ages of 18 and 39, where they nearly doubled their rates from almost 5% to 10%. Scientists recently analyzed almost every single inch of someone who was the oldest living person in the world that we know of. While she had all the classic signs of aging in the DNA and other things that they tested, she did have some unique things that they think may have helped her live this long. One of them being that she had a younger gut microbiome, as well as had overall low inflammatory markers throughout her body. It doesn't help that she also did have very rare genetic markers that are known to be protective for aging. And lastly, some more CDC data this year looking between 2024 and 2025 for the flu that saw that we had the highest amount of pediatric deaths for a non-pandemic year at about 280. The majority of the deaths were caused by influenza A and almost all of them had some sort of underlying condition prior to actually being infected.